Hello guys, in this video I'm going to show you how you can download and install Visual Studio Express for developing C and C++ program on your Windows operating system. In addition, I'm also going to show you how you can make your first Hello World C++ program. So let's get started. First of all, we need to uh, download and install Visual Studio Express. Visual, Visual Studio Express is free for us. Uh, and uh, we can download it freely. So go to your favorite browser and search for Visual Studio Express. The first link most probably will come here from www.visualstudio.com slash something. So I will go to this uh, website which is www.visualstudio.com and in here when I see there are different versions of Visual Studio available and the one I'm looking for is Visual Studio for desktop which is this one and at the time of making this video Visual Studio Express 2013 is the latest version but it can change whenever you uh, you know if you are seeing this in future so don't get confused by anything else like Visual Studio Express uh, 2013 for Windows or uh, Express for Web. We need to download this version Express 2013 for Windows Desktop. And it will say here that the programming language it includes is C Sharp, Visual Basic, and C also. So just Select this one and click this download button here. Once you download this button, click this download button, you will be able to see Express 2013 with updates 4 for Windows desktop and you will be able to see uh, this kind of interface. In here you can choose your language, whatever language uh, you want to choose to download Visual Studio and then you need to click install now now you may have to have uh, your uh, visual studio or microsoft account it may be outlook uh, or any microsoft account or microsoft uh, uh, email account so you may have to log in with your account in order to see this link if you already have this account you do just need to sign it with your any of your Microsoft account and otherwise you need to uh, sign up for the account or create new account and then you will be able to see this link so there are two options here one is the Express 2013 for Windows desktop and other is ultimate 2013 what we want here is this one which is Express for Windows Desktop. So just click this link and the installation will start automatically. And installation of Visual Studio is fairly straightforward. It may ask you to um, you know restart your computer after the installation but uh, yeah it's fairly straightforward you don't even need to click any button. Uh, Visual Studio executable file takes care of everything so you no, don't need any extra step to install it so you just need to run this executable file and wait for a while it may take uh, you know 20 minutes it took 20 minutes in my case to install visual studio but uh, it may take lesser or more time depending upon the speed of your computer once you have this on your computer i can see this uh, in my windows 8 apps list and this is what I am looking for Visual Studio Express 2013 for desktop okay so just click this and it will open Visual Studio and for the first time whenever you open this Visual Studio you will be able to see uh, this kind of interface in here you have two options to create new project one is to click this new project button or otherwise you can click 
the file menu here and then click new project so just click that and in here you have a different template version and one we are looking for is this one visual studio c++ or visual c++ and one, once you click this visual c++ category here you will be able to see some options what we want to do is we want to make a, an empty project so i will select empty project from here and in here you can give the name to your project for example you can give the name my first cpp project for example okay and this is the default location where this project will be you know uh, stored okay so if you want to change this default location you can browse for the location wherever you want to store your um, project and uh, for now we don't need to create the solution so if you see uh, any checkbox checked here these two, two checkbox leave them as unchecked okay so if this is like this you just need to uncheck this for now okay and i will click okay and visual studio will create an empty c++ project for me now once it creates uh, an empty project you will be able to see three folders here one is header files one second is source file which will uh, store or you can store uh, cpp files here in header files you can uh, store dot h or dot hpp or had other header files and in resource file you can save your resources now let's see where this is uh, stored in your computer so whenever you right click your solution you will be able to see this option open folder in file explorer okay so right click your solution and just click open folder in file explorer and here is the location where project your project is saved so you see there is a project category and this is the name of your project whatever name you have given and they have created visual studio have created uh, some project file for you and whenever you go inside this project you will be able to see your source file or other files okay so what not next i'm going to do here is in my source folder this in source file in my project i'm going to create a new source file so just right click your source file and click add and click new item and in here you have two options other uh, either you can choose a dot cpp file or dot header file but for our hello world program we will just choose dot cpp file and in here you can change the name of your source file for example uh program dot cpp okay and this is the default location where this uh, source file will be stored okay so once you do this you can just add this uh, source file to your project and now you have program.cpp inside your source file you can just click this uh, program.cpp and in here you can start writing your first uh, c++ project pr program so let's uh, try to write a very simple hello world program so we just need to include include io stream and then we are going to use or using namespace std not this but this and then we will make our main function so this is a very basic main function i'm going to make and now in here you can just uh, 
print hello world ju by just writing uh, std c out and then you just need to use uh, these angular brackets and inside double quotes you can just print hello world okay and to end the line we will just add std and line this is the very uh, basic simple hello world program and uh, to uh, retain the screen so for example uh, to build this program I'm going to go to this build option and I will just click build solution okay or otherwise the very uh, good option is clicking this green button here so just click this green button and it will automatically get automatically ask you to build the program just click yes and it will build your program so for the first time when you compile your program or build your program it can take some time and you can see it gave uh, the screen and the screen d disappears sud suddenly because there is nothing in this uh, main program which can uh, you know hold the screen uh, from disappearing so I will add one more line which is std cin dot get okay and this will uh, this just uh, input uh, function which expects some input so for now uh, for you know retaining the terminal or screen uh, on the computer we will just add this line so that our terminal or screen doesn't disappear suddenly and once again we will build the program and run it and here we can see our hello world message showing on the terminal so in this way you can uh, download and install Visual Studio for developing C and C++ program and you can create your first C++ Hello World program on Visual Studio. So I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please rate, comment and subscribe and bye for now.